can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Solve for all integers n comma m that is greater than or equal to zero, given that square root of n plus square root of m equals square root of 405. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. So, our given is square root of n plus square root of m equals square root of 405. And our goal is to solve for all integers n comma m that is greater than or equal to 0. So, to start our solution, let's focus on this 405. Take note that 405 is just 81 times 5. Why 81? Because 81 is a perfect square. 81 is just 9 squared. So, the right-hand side of this equation can be written as 9 times square root of 5. Now, this tells us that this square root of n can be written as something times square root of 5. Also, this n can be written as something times square root of 5. So, let's have their given values. So, let square root of n must be a times square root of 5. And square root of m must be equal to b times square root of 5, wherein this a and b adds up to 9. So we can say that a plus b must be equal to 9. Now let's solve for the value of n. So to do that, let's square on both sides. Therefore, the left-hand side is just n, and the right-hand side is just 5 times a squared. On the other hand, m is just equal to 5 b squared. Therefore, all pairs of n comma m can be written as 5a squared comma 5b squared, wherein a and b adds up to 9. Now, at this point, let's have some numbers that is adds up to 9. And the first one is just 0 plus 9, because 0 plus 9 is definitely 9. Another thing is 1 plus 8 is just 9. And here's the rest, the numbers. We have 2 plus 7, 3 plus 6, up to 9 plus 0. Now, the yellow numbers represents A, and these blue numbers represents the value of B. Therefore, one possible value of N, M must be equal to, if we get the first 0 plus 9 equals 9, A is 0, and B is 9. So we have 5 times 0 squared, comma, 5 times 9 squared. And also, we can do this to all of those pairs like this. So here's all the possible values of n, comma n. So what we're going to do now is to simplify those numbers. So let's start with the yellow bases from 0 squared up to 9 squared. Next, let's simplify the blue bases from 9 squared up to 0 squared like this. And then let's simplify. On the first line, we have 5 times 0, which is 0, and 5 times 81 is 405. So if the first pair of n, comma m must be equal to 0, comma 405. The next thing, this is safe because n, comma m is definitely greater than or equal to 0. So we can have n must be equal to 0. On the next set, we have 5 times 1, which is 5. And 5 times 64 will give us 320. So another pair is 5, 320. Another pair is just 5 times 4, simply 20. And 5 times 49 will give us 245. So this is another pair. Another pair also is just 5 times 9, which is 45, comma, 5 times 36, or simply 180. Again, let's continue. 5 times 16, comma, 5 times 1. 25 is just 80 comma 125. Now, if we keep going, we get all possible pairs of n comma m. And for the last one, we have 405 comma 0. And that's all the possible values of n comma m. Wherein n comma m is greater than or equal to zero. And as always, we are done.